Hey guys, welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about speed titles and I'm going to show you how we achieve some of the effects we got in that video you just saw. This is a really easy pack to use, it's simply drag and drop and you're going to get these really professional Apple commercial style titles in seconds. So let's get straight into it. So once you've installed speed titles as a title pack in Final Cut Pro, you're going to want to open up Final Cut and simply click this button in the top right hand corner with six boxes. That's going to open up your browser on the left hand side. In the titles categories here you're going to see speed titles. Straight away you're going to see we've got 20 titles to choose from. These are all highly customizable and really really easy to use. So straight away if I just double click the title, nice little shortcut for you guys, that will drop it straight into the title sequence. And you can see here this title is only three seconds long. So let's just see how that comes out of the box. Cool, so this is promoting some kind of one-time offer. So if we click on this title and we go up to the right hand side, you'll have these three sliders. You click this icon and it's going to open up our publish parameters. We make sure that this T is selected as well and that's going to make sure that we can change things and customize this title how we like. So you can see here we've got title 1, title 2, title 3 and title 4. If we go through the titles, we see there's one is amazing, two is one, that's confusing, and three is time, and four is offer. So all we have to do is change these one by one. So let's say we're promoting a special offer, and let's change the title to say, um, get the deal now. And we play it, get the deal now super quick titles and if that's not even quick enough for us all we have to do is drag this over and it's going to be faster so it's really really easy to time these titles to music and make sure that they fit in with your edit perfectly now if we go back up to our published parameters you can see that we can change things like the font the font size the position and the color so you can quickly get creative with this and make sure you're choosing things like brand colors and creating edits that are in keeping with a brand you know so for example if this brand's colors were blue and white we have their colors working straight away really easy to do but you may have noticed in the video at the start that we had some kind of like crazy multicolored effects going on and i think this is where this title pack really shines and when you can make it look really creative and make it look at its best this effect is actually really easy to achieve so all we're going to do is find a photo or a video and drag it underneath the title I've got this one from Unsplash. If you guys don't know about Unsplash, I highly recommend. It's just a treasure trove of free photos. So once your photo or video is dropped underneath the title, you're going to want to make sure that it fills up the whole frame. So you see how this comes in sort of a 4x3 ratio. I'm going to go for the 16x9, bring it up there, simply by changing our scale on the right hand side. So now you see that the title plays over this image and that's fine and everything, it looks good. But I think the way to make this title really pop is to use a thing called Stencil Alpha. So to do this, we're going to select the title, head over to our movie icon up here in the video inspector, and then on our blend mode, we're going to select this drop down box and select Stencil Alpha. So straight away, you can see how this is starting to look really, really cool. Let's just see how that looks. So that looks absolutely awesome. Something I decided to do in the video at the start as well, which you may have noticed, is I wanted to have that colour in the background moving and animating. So all I do to achieve that is I select our photo underneath the title and I move our playhead right to the start of the clip. Then I come over to here and underneath transform I go to rotation and I click this little plus icon next to the rotation. And that's going to add a keyframe. Then I simply grab the playhead and I drag it all the way to the end of the clip. And I'm going to type in a value, something like 50. I don't want it to rotate too fast. And you see how that has changed our keyframe into a yellow diamond. That basically means that a second keyframe has been set. And we've just told Final Cut Pro that we want it to rotate this from 0 to 50 over the course of this clip. So let's play this and see how that looks. That's looking really cool. So you see how in the background our colors are now moving. They've been, we've turned a still image into a moving image. I think that's really, really cool. So now if you want to supercharge your edit and take these titles to the very next level, I recommend using this title pack with another one of our effects called Light Ray Glow Effect. And this is only $15 on our website or available as part of the Ultimate Bundle for just $99 where you receive every single plugin that we make. 
for just $99. It's a crazy deal. You guys need to get on it as soon as possible. So I'm going to show you what this looks like with this effect applied. So to do this, I simply select the title file. I go over here to our effects browser and under here you'll see light ray glow effect. I'm then going to double click the effect with the title selected. Straight away you can see a little bit of a glimmer of something happening here. But I'm just going to play with this. I'm going to boost our rays up so that these look really, really cool. Okay, so once you've played around with light ray glow effect, you can get these amazing light streaks that come off the title. And as you can see, moving the light rays looks really, really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some keyframing again like we learned earlier. So I'm going to bring my playhead right to the front of the clip. Make sure I have my title selected. I'm going to go up here to glow position. And we click the keyframe here. And I'm going to set the glow to where I think it's going to look cool at the start of the clip. Somewhere like... Somewhere about there looks cool. Then I'm going to go right to the end of the clip, right to where the title fades out. Right about here. Having already clicked the keyframe, I'm then going to drag this round somewhere else, maybe to the other side. And that's set our second keyframe. So now that light ray glow is going to animate itself from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side. So let's see how that looks. Wow, that looks so good, so professional. I could really see that being in an Apple advert or something super pro, something techy, some amazing startup video. It's going to add just this little sprinkle of professionalism into your videos that your clients are going to love you for. And it took us all of 30 seconds to do. Once you get into this and you get into the swing of it, you'll be doing these in seconds. I wanted to show you guys one more title included in this pack, which is number 13. And this is a bit of a longer one, but it really does do an effective job of listing things after a question. So let's just take a look at this title out of the box and how it looks. So it's a really fun pack that's going to list four things straight after a question or a statement. If we go into the browser up here on the right hand side, you can see that we can edit all of these different elements. We can put in anything we want. So let's assume that we're making a conspiracy video. I won't change any of these elements right now. Let's just assume this is the video we're making. So did you know that the earth is flat, aliens exist, Atlantis is real and carrots equal night vision? So that's all awesomely animated for us, ready to go out of the box. So just before we get started on changing this title up, my client's brand colours are blue and white. It's just nice to add these little sprinkles in there for them, where you pop in something like, I understand your brand. So we're going to do that, we're going to make this circle blue and you'll see that throughout the title. And it just makes it fit to their brand so much better, you know? But let's say for example, I... I want to change the speed of this title so that it fits in with my music. So we can simply just drag the title across to make it shorter and this will change the speed of the whole title. Everything will move faster, the motion blur will be more intense and just generally we're going to have a faster experience with this title. But let's say I love the title how it is, it perfect length here and then it goes over to the second title and that's great but then I want it to start hitting the beat when it goes from this one to the next one to the next one to the next one. So this is quite easy to achieve, but all we're going to do is press Option G. And this is going to create a compound clip. We just press OK. And you see how my title now has changed to this one with the compound clip icon here. And what compound clips allow us to do is edit the file without actually affecting the native properties of the file. So for example, we can manipulate the timings on this title in various places, which you can't do on a raw title file. So all I do is I select our compound clip and then press Command R. And that brings up our timing panel. Now I'm going to go move my playhead over here to the part where I want it to speed up and with this red line I'm then going to press shift B and you see how that creates a cut in the timing line here. I'm then going to go to the end of my clip where I want it to stop speeding up. For example this outro animation I'd like this to remain in its native timing. So all I go is here and I bring my red playhead and I press shift B again and that's created a second cut. So now we have this section in the middle of the two cuts where I can change the speed. So I can drag this to what I like 
or I can click this drop down arrow here and I can go to fast and I can choose two times, four times, eight times or 20 times or Final Cut has so many options you can press custom and then we can change this number here to represent the value that we want it to go. So 100% will be playing at normal speed, 200% will be playing at double speed. And just like that, we've created a speed ramp here. So this section is now in two times speed and then it's gonna speed ramp out into normal speed where we can watch our animation in its native timing. So let's check that out. So we're playing in normal time here and then we speed ramp into double time. We're hitting the beats on the music now and we come back out to our native timing to watch the outro. So that works really great and now the title fits perfectly to our music. So how about now we're gonna use the skills we learned earlier in this video and we're gonna take stencil alpha and we're gonna use our light ray glow effect to turn this into a truly unique title that would take someone hours or days to make in After Effects or something like that. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to take my image, place it behind, drag it to the length. I'm going to increase the scale so that we fill up the whole frame. And then with my playhead at the start of the clip, I'm going to click the keyframe on the rotation. Then I'm going to take my playhead to the end of the clip and I'm going to change this value on the rotation to say 90. This one is a bit longer. I might just increase my scale there so we fill the frame the whole time that's going to be fine then i'm just going to select the title file here and up in the blend mode on the drop down box we're going down to stencil alpha and we can see how that is looking really really cool now of course we can also add our light ray glow effect we're just going to click the clip double click our effect i'm going to pump this up so that we can really see the light rays and then I'm simply going to keyframe the glow position up here so that it moves in sequence with our title and the light ray movements make sense with our title movements. So that took one minute just keyframing the glow position to each time when there is a movement, making sure that the light ray moves in conjunction with the title. Let's see how that looks. Awesome, so cool. We're really stoked with this pack and we hope you guys are gonna to be too. It's gonna to give your edits that extra 10% above the competition and we just can't wait to see how you guys get creative with it. There's so much you can do with this pack and your clients are gonna love you for this. Remember, you can get this pack as part of the Ultimate Bundle for just $99, which is every single plugin we make in one huge bundle, just $99, saving over $1,100. So head over to the website, grab yours now, and we'll see you in the next video.